The economic miracle of the last 40 years for sheer scale and volume, if for nothing else, has surely been how China has pulled hundreds of millions of its people out of poverty, creating the world's second biggest economy littered with jobs. South Africa is facing similar developmental challenges that China once faced. Right now, we're dealing with high unemployment, the declining output in our primary sectors, and recently, and for the last 10 years, shortage of electricity. Chinese ambassador says China has the largest electricity generating capacity in the world and stands ready to partner with South Africa. The question is, where's the call? Ambassador, thank you very much for your time. Let's speak about this job fair. Why is it so important for China uh, in its relation with South Africa to have this job fair? We see South Africa as our good friend, good partners. Now the challenges in South Africa is unemployment, is economic development. So uh, this year in April, I attended, we, we were together with the Chinese investor in South Africa to follow the call of the President, His Excellency, President Cyril Ramaphosa, to create a job. So now I challenge the Chinese investor in South Africa to come together to open themselves, to open a fair for the student, the graduate, the local people. So that, uh, in the, the first half of this year, the first fair, but I challenge them, challenge them, and I promise every year I like to offer two fair. So now I'm very happy we have today 56 Chinese investors in South Africa. They are already here uh, from the financial sector, the manufacturer, the agriculture, wherever they are. Now they come here to offer more than 200 jobs. Now they already said they promised to offer today, they like to open for, uh, offer 238 jobs to the local, to the local. And just now, as I, you know, I also very happy to hear that some Chinese uh, uh, vocational technical school already come to South Africa to work with your department of higher learning. Mm -hmm. They come here to, to have the workshop to train the local people. Mm -hmm. Vocational technical school mm -hmm. education, I think, is the key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ambassador, we all understand South Africa's job crisis. Mm -hmm. It's probably the biggest that's been in over 50 years mm. this is this is a serious crisis but mm. every uh, little bit helps mm -hmm. we all want to know how sustainable these jobs are mm. how sustainable are they over a long term mm. and what are what are the terms perhaps of trade what does the student who gets this job opportunity mm. uh, how long do they have to work for a particular company before mm. uh, they can pursue other opportunities the job they offer is the very former an or normal or formal job, of course, uh, depend on they can uh, sign the agreement and if they like to work in that company, they can work for long and if they can operate better, they will get promoted. And in the future, more and more people will become not only the staff, but will come to the management levels. So I think this is a good opportunity for the employer, for the investor to open their door to offer their job to the local. And I'm very happy there's a one investor from China called uh, Abadeir. Mm. Abadeir. Mm. There's a cable manufacturer in South Africa. It's Abadeir, it's a South African company. Mm. But now the shareholding management, uh, the shareholding is Chinese, mm. uh, they're dominant. Mm. And they, we have only less than five Chinese employees or management. Mm. But we have more than 2,000 direct jobs to the local. Mm. I'm very proud to see. China's and, uh, if they try the, the, the local employee, they are happy to work the discipline, work hard, committed themselves to their job, loyal to their job. I'm sure they can have the long term. China has done something amazing over the last 25 years. You have literally pulled yourself out of out of poverty into the second biggest economy in the world and very much on the up and up. You had to power yourself in, you know, through this uh, third industrial revolution, as it were. Mm -hmm. What's your advice to South Africa as we go through, you know, our own power cuts, the rolling power cuts, and what are Chinese companies saying about the rolling blackouts? China is that uh, I agree is a good success in China in the past 20 years or 40 years. 
you can imagine in 1978, 40 years ago, we have less than 3% of the people out of poverty. But by the end of last year, less than 3% of the Chinese in the poverty. In the past three decades or four decades, we have lifted out of poverty more than 850 million people out of poverty. By the end of this year, China will be free of poverty with 1.4 billion population and contribute to 70% to the, uh, uh, the poverty reduction in the world. And I'd like to share with the African friends, South African people, our brothers, if China can achieve great success, why not South Africa? How do we do it? I'm very confident. We need, if we get united together, not to fight, but to work together and commit ourselves to our national development, to our family development, to our community development, we can achieve. This country, I'm very confident. This continent, I'm very confident. Because you have a lot of resources more than enough. The location is perfect. The infrastructure here, the foundation condition is perfect. The continent has been rising. Last year, 17 countries in the continent have their GDP more than 5%. This year will be more, more than 19 countries. So the continent has been rising. Now we are ready to work together with South Africa. Final question, Ambassador. Yeah. What are Chinese companies saying about the power cuts that we are going through? They would normally be telling you as the front-facing uh, uh, official for the Republic. Yeah, in China, it is the key for industrialization or in any country. Now we understand. Infrastructure development is the key, the precondition for any sustainable development in the world. So now, this is why here is a big challenge to us. You, are, you attract more and more investors to come. But if you do not have the electricity, how can you hold them here? How can you attract them there? So now we are happy. His SN pay high attention. The government, the party pay attention. The people pay attention to the electricity. We are ready to fight together with South Africa if we need. If you need, we are ready. China is the strongest uh, capacity of the uh, electricity, especially coal power uh, electricity, the, the capacity, we are the strongest. And 70% of the power in China from coal uh, power plant, energy, uh, coal energy, we have a strong capacity, more importantly, we have a strong commitment. We like to work together with South Africa. If you're interested, sometimes you have to accept us. We are call ourselves as a friend, as a partner. But I cannot, if before you accept, recognize China as a partner, a true partner, I can do nothing. But I can ensure you, the Af South African friend, we are here. Whatever we like to do, we are here. Whatever we can do together, let us know.